In this video, I'm going to show you how to add custom fields to WooCommerce products. This is the website I'm going to add my custom fields to and it's the official website for this channel, jikupages.com. I also sell Elementor template kits on this website. And as you can see in here, I have a couple of them. I've already made tutorial on this particular one that is ebook pro as well as digital agency website templates. This one actually contains JSON files. It is not template kit. So you have to upload every single template to the particular page. But this particular one here and the rest of them are template kits. When you import this onto your website, you will have a fully blown website. So if I go ahead and open one of the products, for instance, Electron Shop WooCommerce Elemental Template Kit. The price for this product is $12.99. And if a client go ahead and purchase this particular template kit, they can use it on their website. So upon buying this template kit, the client will need to import it onto his website in order to have a fully blown website. What if the client don't want to go through this technical work of importing the template kit? Down here below, I have extra services that I can render to the client. So upon buying the template kit, the client may want me to do the setup for them. And as you can see in here, this is the product total and this is the grand total. Now, if the client want me to do the setup for them, they can go ahead and check this box in order to add this particular service to the total of their product. Now, you see that the product total is 12.99. That is what we have in here. And the option the client has added is this $12. That is what you see right here. And the grand total would now be 24.99 now i have a demo for this template kit if the client go ahead and visit the demo website and finally see that they need some custom design made to the website they can also go ahead and add this to the total cost of the product and now you see that the grand total has increased on this template kit there are a couple of pages however if the client want additional pages they can also go ahead and add this in order to get additional pages created for them in the same way, if they need a domain name and a web hosting, they can go ahead and add them as well. So with this, you can further monetize your website by adding extra services to the main product. And this is exactly what I will show you in this tutorial. So if this is what you want, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Sadiq here at Tiku Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That's it. Let's jump into the video. So to add custom fields to WooCommerce product, I'm going to install a plugin. To do that, I go to the back end of my website, then I go over to plugins, click on add new. And the search plugins, I search for advanced product fields for WooCommerce. And this is a plugin I'm going to install by Studio Wombat. Take note, I've already installed and activated the plugin. In your case, you have to go ahead and click on install and go ahead and activate. So upon installing and activating the plugin, the next thing to do is go to the product you want to add the custom fields to. So for this, I'll go to the shop page and I'll go ahead and click on this product. I can exit from here for now. In here, you see that I don't have the extra services. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and edit the product. Take note, you can also locate the product by going to the back end of your website, that is product right here, and locate the product. I already have it here. So I just go down and in here you see that I have custom fields right here. So if the advanced custom field plugin is not installed, you wouldn't see this particular feature. So I go ahead and click on it. In this particular section, you can add some custom fields to your product. So I just go ahead and click on add your first field. In here, what type of field do you want to add? You can drop down the arrow and you see a whole lot of options. So you can add a text field text area, number, email, URL, select true or false, checkboxes, and radio buttons. And these are the options you get in the free version of the plugin. There are other options you can go ahead and use like file upload, date, up to the end. But for you to be able to use these particular ones, you need a pro version of the plugin. For this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and stick to the free version of the plugin. For this field I'm going to add, I want to give my clients the opportunity to be able to select more than one option. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and use checkboxes. In a situation where you want your clients to choose only one option, then you will need a radio button or maybe select. With select, they will have to drop down an arrow and choose from their options. So I'll go ahead and use checkboxes. And what name do you want to give to your label? I'll call it extra services. 
you can go ahead and add some instructions if you want but i'm not going to do this next i go ahead and click on add option and the option label i'll enter setup required under adjust pricing currently it is set to no price change i'll go ahead and choose flat fee pricing amount i go ahead and enter the price what this means is that if my client choose setup required they will be paying a flat fee of $12 or whatever currency you want to set i'll add another option and this one i call it custom design and i'll choose a flat fee and i'll go ahead and set my price for my custom design which is 45 i'll add another option which is additional pages i'll set a flat fee of eight dollars so similarly you go ahead and add the rest of your options so i'll do this pretty quick okay i've added all my options and you can go ahead and add another field if you want i'm not going to do that for now i'll just go ahead and update the product is updated i'll go ahead and view it i'll open it in a new tab and now you see the extra services perfect now if you look at the title extra services is not the same as we saw in the other product you see that the title is not bolded like what we have here so let's see how we can achieve that so to be able to make this heading bold i go back to the product then i scroll down to custom fields i go ahead and click on it to open it up so in here i'll just go ahead and add the strong tag in here i go ahead and wrap it up with the strong tag so the opening tag will be less than sign strong then i close it with greater than sign in here less than sign then forward slash strong I close it up with the greater than sign now if i update and go back to the product to refresh you see that my title is now bolded perfect now let's see how we can add another field so i go back to the product scroll down to custom fields then i go ahead and add a new field and the type this time around i will select radio buttons for this one i want my clients to be able to choose only one option the field label i enter buy me coffee going down i add my options so the option label i can just enter coffee i just price in i choose flat fee and i will enter one dollar i add another option this one too i'll call it coffee flat fee and then pricing i make it three dollars i add another option and that's the final one coffee i set a flat fee of five dollars so with this i want my client to be able to choose from one three or five i can also make my title bold then i go ahead and update it is updated now if i go to the front end and refresh and you see the field right here so with this my client can go ahead and choose from one of these options perfect i don't really need this particular field i just want to show you how far you can go so you can go ahead and add as many custom fields as you want now if you want to learn more on how to add custom fields to your woocommerce product i have a link to a video in the description down below which will show you how you can further take this to the next level so that's it on how to add custom fields to woocommerce products i hope this video was helpful if you found value kindly hit the like button subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that you miss out on future videos keep watching and I'll see you in the next one.